So now let's talk about like how to start the description of each activity. So you're always going to use active verbs, but this active verbs is going to be derived from the can med roles. So one of the important roles of the can meds are a leader. So you can start your sentences with led a group of five residents or um, three uh, physicians and helping vaccination in underdeveloped area or you can use like other expressions that come under the um, term leader like accelerated facilitated achieved assigned conducted recommended there are many synonyms for the word leader produce supervised okay and then we have communicator and instead of communicator you can say addressed aided communicated with a team of five uh, nurses and physician assistant to take care of 30 patients in an underdeveloped area published being a research also requires you to become a good communicator suggested summarized so all those are active verbs that you can use to start your description scholar if you did a research project and you want to describe the research project so you want to talk about like your responsibilities if you did data analysis analyze data extracted from patient's chart or gather data extracted from patient chart or extracted data from patient charts for example um, synthesize information over data to create tables and graphs for example um, compare data between um, like the literature and the hospital records for example conducted a literature review okay so all these verbs they are active and they come under the uh, umbrella of being a scholar okay professional provided established it, it really depends on the description which we're going to talk about different descriptions we will give you different examples health advocate you can say advocated for people with mental health problems or advocated for women with uh, pregnancy related issues um, other verbs that come under the umbrella of advocated diagnosed, educated. Um, there are many things that can come under this umbrella. Collaborated, um, cooperated, uh, combined, managed, participated, resolved, shared. And the medical expert is when you combine all this together. Things to avoid in your CV. It's very important to avoid I, you, they, me. Don't start with personal pronouns. This is very important. Don't use acronym. Don't assume that the, peer, that the person who's reading your CV is aware of um, uh, the acronyms of all organizations in Canada. Okay? That's not the case. Don't include any physical characteristics. Picture, height, background, religion. No personal photo, as I said, no personal information, no, nothing related to race, nationality, ethnicity, political affiliation, marital status, sexual orientation, disability. Those are opinions. CV is an objective document. Always ask for help. Um, ask your friends to read your CV. Contact professional writers to help you to edit your CV. Or contact us, Can MD Medical Consulting. Uh, we work in a professional writers, and we developed a very systematic way in uh, reviewing CVs. Uh, we review CVs medically and grammatically because, like, it goes through residents or physicians, and it goes through professional writers to make sure that the medical content and the grammar content reflects the best experience. If you're going to send your CV. For observership or elective or masters or other positions other than CARMS where usually you upload it in CARMS always make sure to send your CV as a PDF document because if you don't send it as a PDF document if you send it in a Word document this will really change how things are arranged so make sure to send your CV for observership masters or other application rather than other than CARMS as a PDF document
as I said, Word documents and Google Docs are very prone to changes.